Hey everyone, welcome to Nintendo Prime. We got a handful of stories for you guys today uh, in regards to Nintendo Switch, including release date of a really popular franchise coming to Switch. Uh, we have a big game delay coming out of Nintendo, kind of surprisingly, but also they just made 2022 an even bigger year. So that's, I mean, that, that that's crazy. Uh, we have a little bit of a note on metroid prime 4 so it's kind of cool we get to talk about that and yes i'm actually going to do something a little different here on fridays i am going to uh, make the final part of the video essentially be a story that is looking back at the mistakes that you guys called me out for here in the last week or potentially a mistake that i might have noticed after videos went live uh, i find that this is a really great way to be transparent with all you guys to show you that one i'm not perfect two i do know the mistakes were made and three i do read the comments and i do agree and realize uh that those mistakes happen now i might not always get every mistake into the video so if there's anything i happen to miss be sure to let me know down in the comments uh what i missed and heck maybe there's mistakes in this video as well i always appreciate um the the the, the back and forth between the fans here uh, to help make the channel just a little bit better make sure my information that i'm presenting is accurate all right that being said i do want to remind you we are giving away some copies of metroid dread pretty simple click the viral sweep link down in the description or the pinned comment to enter for that we also have a much larger giveaway happening later this year details to come on that later just know you got to be subscribed to enter um yeah let's let's just let's just get into the news All right, so our first story was a bit of a surprise tweet from Nintendo of America, and now I think it's appeared actually on all of Nintendo's official Twitter accounts, and that is that Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp has been delayed from the December release date it had this year into spring of 2022. So that could be four months, five months, I don't know, somewhere in there. It's a pretty big delay. Uh, and here is the exact wording they use. It said, hello, troops, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp which was set to launch on 12.3, will now release for Nintendo Switch in spring of 2022. The game just needs a little bit more time for fine-tuning. You'll be battling with Andy and friends soon. Thanks for your patience. Uh, it is a little disappointing that it got pushed out of this year, because this year was already a little bit thin on releases. I mean, we still have Shin Megami Tensei 5, obviously Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl, and that one brain game Nintendo is coming. So, like, there's... Mario Party Superstars, by the way, come in as well next week. So there are games to look forward to. Still, I would be remiss if it didn't suck because this is kind of one of the games I was most looking forward to the rest of this year. But now it's just pushed back into 2022. And the way 2022 is shaping up for Nintendo, there might be a major game launching every single month on Switch, which that would be awesome. So I'm all for that, even though my wallet might not agree. Uh, next up, we have an update on an ongoing story that's been going on for some time, and that is uh, the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Definitive Edition. Now, it's been announced uh, for a while, but we haven't really seen gameplay of it until today. They did a gameplay trailer and also gave us all the various release dates, and I'll explain various release dates. Uh, it's a little interesting here. Uh, so first off, here's the trailer, and yeah, I mean, it looks good. Uh, there has been some backlash online from, you know, basically Grand Theft Auto fans that were hoping that it would be kind of rebuilt. Uh, from the ground up in Grand Theft Auto 5's engine. Uh, but that's not really what they did. This is just kind of like an hd of these games of sorts, uh, taking fan mods and applying to it. Some people don't like the slight differences in art direction. They actually made the games more uh, favor the actual game's pamphlet art, like the original art for the game, versus the more hyper-realistic style. But still, I think it's a worthwhile update of these games. Uh, and the big thing here is that these games all come out on November 11th on obviously all platforms, including Nintendo Switch. Uh, and that's really, really cool. So it's getting day and date and there'll be a physical version as well. So you guys will be able to buy a cartridge with these games on. Pretty cool. Uh, beyond all of that, which by the way, I don't know how many, how much of the game will be on the cartridge. We've seen with things like NBA 2K, it might just be a little bit and you still got to download most of it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, uh, what size cartridge they use. Hopefully 32 gigs, but I have no idea. Um, but here's where it gets interesting. So on Game Pass, 
uh, you know, Xbox Game Pass, it gets a bunch of games day, day and date of release. Well, it's getting one of the games from this Definitive Edition day and date. Uh, it, uh, so if you are a Game Pass subscriber like I am, you will get the San Andreas part of this trilogy day one. So you won't have to pay anything extra, but you don't get the other two games. So then you still got to buy the trilogy to get those games. A little weird, right? Um, to make this even stranger, if you are a PS Now subscriber on PlayStation, uh, you'll actually get the Grand Theft Auto 3 part of this Definitive Edition on December 7th. Okay, that obviously leaves people wondering, hey, Nintendo and Nintendo Switch Online, are you going to be adding the other missing game in here to yours at some point exclusively? I assume not, because Nintendo doesn't have a service like that, but it's kind of weird, right? Game Pass is only getting one of the three games. PlayStation's only getting one of the three games. So you still gotta buy the whole definitive trilogy thing anyways if you want all three now if you were only interested in one of those games or the other i guess this works out for you but i find it to be just just a strange thing uh that they're going this route also strange that microsoft didn't pony up to just get the full trilogy day and date on game pass i think that would have been a bigger get but hey you know what this is the state of the industry we're in right now where everyone's fighting over content 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 at least all the platforms have the actual trilogy so uh, there is that anyways all right our last uh, real story of the day is more of a fun note um someone pointed out on twitter i'll, I'll throw the tweet up here uh that it has been a thousand days since nintendo announced uh that metroid prime 4 was being rebooted in development and then delayed uh what's interesting here is actually a thousand and one as of today uh but it's baffling that like it's been almost three years it hasn't quite been three years but almost three years, and we still haven't heard anything about Metroid Prime 4? Isn't that strange? Right? I mean, the, yeah, we know the game was announced in 2017, but from its, you know, publicly announced reboot to today, it's been three years, and we still haven't even heard a whisper of Metroid Prime 4. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I just find this to be fascinating. Obviously, they're taking their time with this. I'd rather they take their time and do it right i hope that rare is able to deliver a masterpiece they have traditionally always delivered masterpieces so i'd like to say it's a safe assumption but it's been so long since the wii that we got a true prime game uh yeah, we're gonna set aside the spinoff I, I i'm just gonna sit here and patiently wait and hope for the best and hope it actually comes this generation and doesn't end up as a next generation launch game or cross gen game which I guess being a cross-gen game wouldn't be the end of the world. It worked out for Breath of the Wild, so I don't know. I feel like striking while the iron is hot. Metroid Dread seems to be a driving factor. Making Metroid more popular might be a great time to get it out next year. I guess I'll just keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. All right, this last segment is where we're just going to be addressing some things that happened in the last, um, you know, week. Uh, some stuff that I got wrong. Um, so one thing that I messed up on uh, and this kind of sucks because our podcast had a big section on it dedicated to this exact screw up. Um, was the Diablo 2 server issue? Uh, I mentioned that, you know, maybe they were treating Switch owners like second class citizens, uh, but other platforms had been experiencing issues as well, off and on. Uh, not, I, I think Switch's issues seem to be worse, but it's been off and on for everyone. Uh, and they, and I said they didn't address any of this publicly. That part was a mistake. They technically have addressed this publicly on their forums. Uh, and essentially, there's a really long th uh, post about it and a big thread. Uh, but it essentially breaks down to there's more players than they expected. Um, players are being more skillful or getting better at the game quicker than they thought they would. So they're getting through the runs in the game and multiplayer much quicker. Uh, so there's all that to consider as well. So Basically, they weren't ready at launch with enough server capacity to handle the amount of players and how many runs they are doing. They are working on this, of course, and there's no promised date that they will be done with it, but still, it was addressed. They still hung up on me when I called them, um, and they still aren't addressing it on social media, per se. Uh, all of this addressing is happening on the forums, but... They are technically admitting that, hey, we got some mistakes um, and we're trying to patch it up. We're trying to fix it. And we just kind of have to wait and see. Um, I actually made a couple other mistakes with the Diablo 2 story. 
Uh, these were less relevant mistakes, but I mentioned uh, in the Nintendo Prime podcast that the game was, uh, you know, a few months old. Technically, it's like a month old as of tomorrow or something like that. So the game's been out for a month. Uh, so there's that to consider. Not months. One month it's been out. So these server issues obviously are even more frustrating because the game is still sort of in that brand new state. And I also made a mistake when I originally talked about the story or talked about Diablo 2 because I mentioned that the game is only multiplayer, which is stupid. I knew that there was a single player campaign and single player uh, missions and all that that you can do in Diablo 2. I don't know why I forgot about that. I played Diablo 2 back in the day, but maybe it's just because last time I played Diablo 2 was so long ago. The only time, reason I kept going back to play it uh, after the fact was for multiplayer. It's the only thing I could think of in my brain that I somehow rationalized, hey, because all I've done is multiplayer in that game for so long. That's all there is for getting, you know, there, there's, there's more there. Uh, there is stuff you can do offline. So yeah, I do apologize uh, for kind of mishandling that story. Um, it is what it is. We all make mistakes. And that's the whole point of this segment is me comping to those mistakes. Uh, but that's not it. Um, so this is a point where I wasn't necessarily wrong. Uh, but this is a clarification that should have been in my piece. I, I mentioned in a, a story earlier this week that EA gets what it deserves where FIFA pulls the licensing from them. Uh, sort of acting like FIFA is in the, you know, this big in the right company and EA is just this evil corporation, which while maybe true that EA isn't the greatest of companies, it doesn't mean FIFA is either. And I didn't clarify this because FIFA was being greedy and FIFA is always greedy. Uh, and FIFA has a, overall a very public um, outcry against FIFA in general for being rather corrupt. Now, I'm not going to dive into the specifics for it because it might get a little too political and all that. But I will say that FIFA is not necessarily a poster child thing uh, and that FIFA as an organization probably worse overall than EA if we're completely honest. So um, nobody really wins in this situation. Uh, yeah, the hope is obviously more companies will get to use the FIFA branding. I know EA has all of the licensing for uh, the various individual cups and the various players, although I have heard that these aren't exclusivity license. These are just licensings for the players. The exclusivity license was only for the FIFA branding, but it is what it is. We'll have to wait and see what happens down the line. Uh, I personally am not big into the soccer slash football uh, games, but I know some are. I used to play a lot of them back when I played soccer. I used to actually be a goalie, believe it or not. Yes, this little five foot five, nothing. I was like the shortest person on the entire soccer team and I was the goalie. Yeah, on varsity as we went to state. You want to know why I was goalie? Despite my short stature and rotundness, I'm actually super athletic and can jump really high. So from like the middle of a goal, I could literally jump sideways and punch a ball out from the corner of the top corner of the net. And if you're a goalie, you know how hard that can be. Uh, so yeah, I was actually really, really good. I had really good hands uh, for catching. So I don't know, not to toot my own horn here, but it's kind of one of those, I still think back fondly on those days. because That's the last time I probably truly cared about the sport. All right, my last thing that I did get wrong is earlier this week, I mentioned the Switch had been the market leader in unit sales for a record number of months in the United States, 33. That part was correct. That's a fact-based statement. Then, of course, in giving my opinion, I made an oopsie multiple times. Uh, I said that this was over three years and closer to three and a half years. This was a very simple math mistake. Um, in reality, many of you corrected me in the in the comments, and I know it's annoying when someone just gets a... It's one thing to get like, okay, maybe this person doesn't know that much about Diablo 2, so we can kind of forgive them for that versus this is math who doesn't know there's 12 months in a year 33 12 months 36 months i mean come on it, it's basic math i messed it up it's really two years and nine months doesn't change how impressive it is except that i made it sound more impressive than it really is so uh, i do apologize for that uh, again i no mistake for simple math errors but it is what it is you know i'm, I'm trying to get these videos done around my, my life and my schedule so Mistakes happen. I'm not perfect. Nobody is, but I'll always cop to my mistakes. 
Thank you so much for all the corrections. Again, if there's more corrections from this week I missed, let me know and maybe it'll make it into next week's video because any video from this video moving on forward into next week will be in Friday's edition as well. Um, you guys are awesome. I appreciate all your feedback. I will remind you that we do have an in-person meetup happening in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. There's a link to it down in the description and in the pinned comment as well. If you guys want to come out tomorrow night, I know a few of you are. May, hopefully, you know, I would love to have a dozen or so people come out and meet me. It's great. I, it is in the Midwest. So if you're from the Midwest and want to make the trip, it's awesome. You got to be 21 or older. It is at a local pub. Uh, we're going to have a good time. Hey, you want to ever sing karaoke with Nintendo Prime? You see me sing and dance and have fun on live stream. Now you can do that with me in person. Wouldn't that be great? I don't know. I think it would be. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up taking selfies together or recording some sort of video clips. Maybe even making a little vlog out of it. Although copyrighted music makes that a little hard. But whatever. Could be some fun. Right? And besides, I'm going to be giving away some free merch. And who knows what else. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll catch. Whoa. Man, this chair goes back. Here we go. Whoa. I'll catch you guys in the next video.